Yo, what up, my name is Derek. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Process Lasso to kind of help performance-wise, how to set priorities for games, and how to increase your overall performance and lower your input lag like, using Process Lasso. Um, what you want to do is just download it. I'll have it linked in the description. Um, make sure you set it as running in your computer when you start your Windows. And uh, once you have it open, this is what it's going to look like. It'll be in the bottom right, right here. And it'll open up and you'll look at it and be like, this looks confusing. Really, it's just a more advanced task manager with a lot more options that are available for you to see right here. It's very helpful, very easy to use, and it's just it's it's, it's a really powerful tool. So right away, let's just I'm just gonna explain kind of what you're looking at and then how to set certain things and how to improve your your um, performance. Top left, you're gonna see processor use, uh, responsiveness, memory load, and then you'll also see if you're licensed or not. So I'm licensed, unlicensed. Honestly, licensing doesn't really do anything. The only thing it does is you don't get a uh, tw you don't get a notification every time you turn your computer on. That you have to do license or what whatnot. So that's the only thing. It also show your power plan on the top right, um, and then it'll just show some graphs right here. And if you hover over this, you can even see how much it's using right here. And if you hover over it, you can see the numbers as well. A couple other things too is you can see the active processes that are kind of the important ones, and you can also see all the processes on your computer that are running. Also go to other things like making sure pro balance is disabled that's one thing that will enable right away just disable that you can turn some of these things on recommended not to turn any of these on though because um not really sure what the performance is for with, when you increase these now process lasso is pretty um pretty well known in, ter in terms of like um a uh, process kind of scheduler and type stuff like that so it's, it's really good um so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna i'm just gonna explain some of the settings that you can change in here that will help um, get your performance to the maximum level that I can. So let's just talk about this. So right away, I want to talk about one thing that at least happens with me. When I um, reinstall Windows or whatnot, and I don't have Audio DG set as a priority or even an affinity, what will happen is my microphone quality will be very, very staticky or very, very like crackly, so it'll be very bad. So what I recommend doing is if you have that problem, all you have to do is right click here, go to properties, go to always, and then or priority, always, and then high, and then affinity, always, select, and then just select CPU-Z, or zero. Okay? Boom, right there. Done. So, the next thing, Discord. You're probably always going to have Discord or Spotify open because you just have those open in the background. At least I do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Discord, and we're going to hold shift and click on the bottom one. You can see it selects all three, or all, not three, all six of the .exe's for Discord, and what we're gonna do, we can do is right click them and actually go to Priority Class Always, and then just set them to Below Normal, and you can see all of these go to Below Normal. So if I go into Discord, the performance might be worse. Honestly, you'll probably notice that difference if you actually um, uh, use it, use Discord a lot. But if you're just using it for a call and to have it open, you're not gonna notice it. Now, one thing I'll say, there, there could be problems with like latency or not latency with like audio right you could have bad micro microphone quality or maybe it's delayed or maybe your audio delayed from your people in the call or your discord server or whatever could be delayed as well so keep that in mind if you have problems just revert these back to normal but you want to set these to below normal if you want to you can also if you want set the affinity now i don't really recommend i'd recommend just doing this to have them at, set at four right here and like i said you'll, you'll notice when your you know Discord starts to be a little bit slower than what it used to be, um, you don't have to set the affinities. I recommend not doing that. I'd recommend just keeping them the way they are, um, at full. Okay. And you can also do this with Epic Games, or if you have any other program uh, in the background. So like for me, I have Spotify. So I go to Spotify, go to Priority Class Always, and then Below Normal. For Voice Meter, it could work the same. Set the priority to below normal because I know voice meter uses a lot of uh, CPU usage uh, but any program that you always run in the background so like if you have Logitech soft uh, G hub software now one thing I'll say about Logitech G hub software if you run it I recommend downloading on your computer making sure it downloads all the drivers make sure it sets the priorities up or, or everything up and then um, your profile as I meant to say once you have all that stuff set up just make sure it doesn't run with your your, your windows when it starts up and you'll be good to go. You don't need it running. You just need the updater running so that it updates your dri or your drivers can um, get the profiles and stuff like that. Sometimes, unless you have um, device or uh, unless you have like memory, um, it's called.
called what's it called? It's like memory something. Um, where it saves in the memory for your drive, for your uh, mouse or your keyboard or your headset or whatever you use, it saves on the actual device onboard onboard memory. That's what it's called. Um, so you can just use that. Um, but that's pretty much it. If if your computer is de bloated, there's going to be a lot more stuff here. Like I said, I just reinstalled this like literally like last week, so there's not really much on here for background processes. So I recommend just kind of monkeying with this if if you have a lot of programs. But if I recommend reinstall Windows. Optimizing it, make sure, making sure not optimizing, but make sure there's no programs that don't need to be installed. Installed. Um, a couple other things too is if you have like a browser, um, you could just set the browser to also have below normal as well if you have it open all the time. Um, but I recommend if, if you stream and you want to have your chat open all the time, either use OBS or just use Chatterino. It's a program that has like a chat and you can customize it. It doesn't use a lot of performance at all. I don't think it uses any at all, really. Um, so you could be good. You, you'll be good there. You have to have a browser open, which can use like 20% of your CPU when you're just looking at a chat. So just keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it. Um, actually, there's a couple other settings I want to talk about. Forgot about this. So options, you can actually go to CPU, go to foreground boosting. You can actually uh, enable foreground boosting and only boost the normal priority processes. So you could do this as well. Um, I'm going to disable that actually since I have I'm going to have other programs as high priority. So you can do a ton of ton of things here um, in terms of memory trimming and stuff like that, power performance mode enabling this stuff too. You can even have a power plan start with your computer, um, stuff like this. As you can see, um, you, you can start process also with a specific power plan. You can even use their power plan because they have their bit some highest performance power plan. Um, and there's nothing really else here besides those. You can also do CPU core park in here, but you have to download a program for that. I think, yeah, you have to download a program, um, but it'll install it for you, and then it'll be simple and free. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you guys, hopefully this was helpful. Um, I know I didn't really talk a lot about that much. Um, there's a couple things too. Um, if you have a game, make sure it's set priority as high. So all you have to do is just right click, set priority always, and then high. This will boot with your computer. You don't have to do it in registry. You don't have to have a, a shortcut that does it. Um, just do it in here. It's so much easier. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have any problems, have any questions, let me know. You guys know that I respond to pretty much everything in the comments section. Um, love the support in the last couple of videos. It's absolutely amazing. Um, but anyways, hope you guys like the video, like, and subscribe, and uh, peace out.